Hi everyone and welcome to your Salted Caramel Espresso Martini Masterclass. So a few things that you're going to need for this class, you're going to need your kit, you're going to need a glass, you're going to need some ice. Those are the three things that we need to hand. What we're going to do is I'm going to talk you through how we're going to make the drink. We're going to tell you why we're using certain products um, and the reason for using them in this occasion. And then finally, I'm going to give you a bit of a history on the actual cocktail. So let's get into making it. First thing, you need the following from your kit. So you will need an espresso shot. So this is 50 mils. This is pre-measured for you. So that's perfect. You will have another bottle. So that says Tia Maria and caramel. It might just say Tia Maria. What we've done here is Tia Maria is a coffee liqueur. And then we've actually added in some salted caramel syrup into it. So it's all ready for you to use. And then finally, the base spirits for this cocktail is vodka. So you've got a shot of vodka there. And then once you've got all your bottles, you'll need a little garnish bag. And inside the garnish bag, you are looking for some coffee beans. And that everyone is what you need. All right. So the espresso has been a cocktail that's become very popular throughout the 90s and 2000s. Um, nice pick-me-up cocktail. It's gone down very popular into many cocktail bars. A lot of uh, variations have happened from it. We've created a salt version, um, and let's get into making. Now, once you're going to go into making, we need... What I'm going to use is a jar. This is known as a Boston shaker and the Boston tin, the other way around, sorry. Um, but if you don't have this at home, no problem. What you need to use is a protein shaker, a sealable jam jar, uh, you know, sealable jam jar, like a mason jar. Uh, if you've not got that, use some Tupperware. The main things that you're looking for is something that you can seal tight once you put all the ingredients in with ice and you can give it a shake without it going everywhere. So going into making, what we're going to do Super, super easy cocktail for us because we've got it all prepped and ready. What you need to do, three bottles. Each one of the bottles just needs to go in. So very, very easy. There's my vodka. This is my Tia Maria and caramel. So Tia Maria is a cold brew coffee liqueur, which we've mixed with the salted caramel syrup for you. And then finally, a shot of espresso. Just give it a little shake before you put it in, just to make sure you're getting a nice frothy foam on it. And then pour your espresso shot straight in, getting all of the bubbles. All right, everyone. One more ingredient that's very, very key, ice. So what we need to do, get a nice amount of ice into our drink. To chill down our cocktail. Now, once we have sealed our cocktail shaker or jar or whatever we're using, what we're looking to do is we're looking to give it a real thorough shake so that we can get a nice gradient. And what I mean by gradient is we want the dark coffee with a nice foam on top, which is then what we're going to put our coffee beans on. So going into shaking. And if you can see there, there's a bit of condensation building up, which means my drink is nice and chilled. This is a three-piece shaker, so I just need to lift the top off. And literally, I just pour straight into my cocktail glass. And as you can see, we've got a beautiful foam getting created. Get every single drop of alcohol out. Beautiful. Nice. So, there we go, we can see quite clearly, we have a nice dark coffee color at the bottom, going into a nice lighter browner color where we've got a nice foam, which is where we're going to garnish our cocktail. We're gonna garnish it with coffee beans. Traditionally, it's done with three coffee beans. Some bars like to do it as a straight line. Some like to do it as a triangle. I like doing it as a triangle, but you guys go crazy with it. Do whatever you want. If I can open the bag, there we go. Right, beautiful. So, you might have a few extra coffee beans you can use if you want to, but traditionally it's three. And there we go. So place your, co your coffee beans on top. Beautiful. We've got a salted caramel espresso. So as we can see, got a beautiful foam. Let's have a little taste. Mm, beautiful. Again, it's a cocktail that uses the coffee. So if you're a coffee fan, you're gonna absolutely love it. 
a little bit of history on the cocktail. The cocktail was formed in the 80s. It was formed in a London Mayfair bar by a bartender called Dick Bradsell. It's rumor has it a certain supermodel was feeling very hungover, went to the bar and asked the bartender to make a cocktail that will wake her up. And uh, in nicer words, basically saying that she's very hungover and she needs something to sort her out. So the bartender said, no problem. What he did is he switched the juice for a shot of espresso and voila, the first espresso was born. Now there's been a lot of variations of this now. Um, the most common thing is people tend to use either Tia Maria or Kahlua. The difference of it is Tia Maria is a cold brew coffee liqueur using 100% Arabica beans, has a touch of vanilla extract in it. Kahlua is a more creamier, slightly sweeter liqueur. So again, if you want to experiment with this cocktail, try it with Kahlua, see what you think. We tend to prefer it with Tia Maria because we can add in our extra um, sweetener, which is salted caramel on this occasion. Um, but yeah, experiment with it, see what you guys think. That is, everyone, the caramel espresso martini. Hope you've enjoyed. Um, if you have created a beautiful cocktail, please do tag us on it. We wanna see your creations. And if you've enjoyed this masterclass, please do review us at the bottom of this video. Thank you everyone. Have a great time. Enjoy your cocktails. Bye.